Sciatica is a very broad term that is thrown around a lot now in the medical world. Basically, it just refers to radiating pain or paresthesia along the course of the sciatic nerve from the lower back or buttock to one or both legs. So let's dive a little bit deeper into our anatomical model about what is the sciatic nerve. So here we have this giant nerve that originates behind the ilium of the hip and then courses posteriorly behind the thigh and lower extremity down the leg. This is the sciatic nerve. It travels the posterior thigh and then helps apply that major part of the lower extremity, both motor and sensory. If we travel back up more superiorly and uh, hide the sacrum here, we can see that the nerve roots of the uh, sciatic nerve, uh, we can see that it comes from that L4, the L5, the uh, S1, S2, and S3. Um, nerve roots here. As we start to get a little bit closer and see that the sciatic nerve does divide into two different big uh, nerves. Here we have the common peroneal nerve going more laterally and then the tibial nerve going right between that knee joint here. And if we see it from a different angle, you see that these two nerves really go down and supply the remainder of the lower extremity all the way down to that foot and ankle. So what all does the sciatic nerve help provide motor for? If we take a look at that sciatic nerve, we see that it courses down the posterior thigh. So it helps supply the motor for all those muscles. So here we have the hamstring muscles. We have the bicep femoris here, the semitendinosus, and then also the semimembranosus. Sciatic nerve also helps and supplies motor for that adductor magnus seen right here. We cannot also forget about the two branches that the sciatic nerve does. Uh, divide into that common peroneal and tibial nerve. They also provide motor down the leg and the foot. The sciatic nerve also provides sensory information. However, this is more indirectly. This is uh, through that common peroneal as well as that tibial nerves. It helps provide sensation on the lateral leg, the heel, and both that dorsal and that plantar surfaces of the foot. So once again, sciatica is anything that really causes irritation along that course of the sciatic nerve.